Wait, where's the entrance? Oh, right here. <laughs> Did you just call it the entrance? <laughs> yeah. Where's the entrance to my mystery box? <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting video. C7 Viper! <laughs>
but I can put this back on correctly at least. Looks like the barrel just needs to be tightened a little bit. It does have an airsoft use only EOTech replica. No. It does not look like it functions. The reason it doesn't function is because there's no batteries in it. That's actually better than there being dead batteries inside. Yeah, at least the batteries didn't get a chance to poof and then corrode all the insides. So now this might actually still work. We do have a tan mag, a cheek rest with a pad on it. This is a cool stock cover. I've never seen one like that on an M4 before. If we find the wiring harness in this box, I will try it out. It does look like this has been popped apart at one point. Maybe the upper doesn't go with the lower. The wiring is wrapped up on the hop up there. So it's gonna be hard to adjust your hop up. And it looks like the upper and lower have a gap right here where they would meet. But this is still a pretty cool looking build. Probably worth a couple hundred. We would need to find the wiring harness to test it, but hey, it's got a replica EOTech. It's got a high cap and this cool looking cheek rest. So you can take naps while you're playing airsoft. I've only done it once. All right, next in the box. Here's another box. Let's check the box in a box to see if any of the parts that we're missing are in this box. Because so far we've got three airsoft guns, all three are missing things. And if not, we probably have the things laying around. Oh, wow, this thing is packed. I'll say first off, I don't think we're gonna use these. That's a sign though of like a really good buy because you know that this is dated stuff. It's old. It's vintage. Uh, we've got parts to a tan M4 stock, but it would not go to that tan M4 stock. A Scar H mag. There's no Scar H that I've seen. A motor plate. Pro Arms gas valves. And it looks unopened. There's three of them in there. Another gas valve and gas fill O-rings. A Taurus pistol grip. Here's more of those plugs. I'm pretty sure these are for like one of those S Thunder 203s. Hey, look. Oh. We got the top cover for the AK. Yes, it is for this one. Springy bit that holds it in is not there. Oh, it's always that. It probably got taken off and went flying and is now missing. Here is a gas mag. Feels like it's got pressure on it. Should I relieve it? Yeah. Yeah, this mag is definitely holding pressure. That's a great sign, especially for a WeTech. So we got one mag for the MP7. Speed loader, a matrix bucking. Glock reinforced spring and pin set for Army, Marui, and Meister. So an upgraded Glock spring set. Stainless steel three leaf spring for Marui, We, Army, Bell, M1911 for high kappa. This is an upgraded stainless steel three lever spring. Another speed loader. And then we are down to mags. Oh, another speed loader. Now we're down to mags. Three speed loaders, MP5 high cap, tan M4 mid cap, another tan M4 mid cap, two black M4 high caps. This looks like some kind of spring FAMAS mag. It does not look like an A. AG mag. A high cap for an AK. M4 high cap extended. This is one of the bigger ones. So this MP7 mag is missing its spring, but there was two springs in the bag earlier for a mag, and that's probably exactly what it goes to. And then there's a box full of old dirty BBs, which is fine. Just something we can pour out later. This was wrapped up on the very bottom. A tech mat. <laughs> All right, so that's cool. I get a tech mat. You're thinking of me. I think that's it for the box. There is just foam on everything. I can't fault them though because it was so well packed. Everything was secure. Everything was in its own little compartment. Unlike our last eBay experience. I don't even want to talk about it. We're going to open this up right now. All right, I don't even know what this could be. Oh, okay. Okay. It's an MP5. Wait, let me get you something. Oh, yeah, there's a mag. And there's also a tool, a teching tool of some sort. I honestly have no clue what brand this is. It looks like this screw needs to be tightened. It looks like the motor screw has been backed out almost all the way. So if this functions, I'll be amazed. There was no telling off the eBay listing. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Even the seller did not know the function and did not guarantee the function, but with a little time and effort, anything can be salvaged. <gasps> Oh my, full auto, semi, it clicks. Listen to this. On an MP5, that's good. Yeah, that's a good click. Galaxy MP5, it's got a little weight to it. I mean, it's got more weight than a UTG would have. It's got a threaded barrel. 
It's got a reflex sight. Let's see if it functions. It doesn't look like it. Probably dead battery, that's fine. $150 value on this one. I wish it had some kind of markings, but it does not. Okay, so we've got four airsoft guns here and a bunch of little components that might or might not go to any of this. I already kind of did some mental calculations of what I think everything here would be worth. I'm saying a probably 150 for the MP5. 150 for the MP7. Maybe a hundred for the m4 if it works then you've got the eotech probably around 50 the reflex sight on the mp5 probably a 20 the ak if we can get the top to stay on 150 also so you've got a bunch of good mid-range airsoft guns here and a box full of mags and all the other gazintas it's looking like 550 to 600 for everything maybe a little more maybe a little less there's still the unknown of if the m4 functions if we can get the ak to stay together if we can get the mp7 to function so i guess the grand question is what did you spend for everything i need to know now i spent mm. a total of 310 dollars. i won the auction at 255 plus shipping that's it yeah. That's pretty darn good. So double the value in our opinion. It's at least worth what I paid, I think. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Not to mention gun bag, gun case, all the little stuff. I think that you did good. This is a pretty good haul. Let me know which one in the comments that you liked the most. Was it the MP7, MP5, M4, AK? That's actually probably the range of the most popular airsoft guns. Which one's your favorite? Yeah. So since you've made it all the way to the end of the video, she's gonna ask you a quick question. Today's question is, what's your favorite side dish? Ooh, for like a meal? Mm-hmm. It's hard to beat fries. I was gonna say, I'm a fan of anything potato. Or potatoes, mashed like potatoes. Ma yeah. yeah, okay, potatoes. Yeah mashed potatoes and fries in any form. All right, let us know in the comments below. What's your favorite side? What do you get? Just go ahead. Make me hungry. And that's it for us today, everybody. Please like it if I made you laugh because I'll do it again. Or just like it because she finally succeeded <laughs> in making a purchase without my knowledge. All right, everybody, we're gonna get out of here and I guess it would make the most sense to boop you with the foam that we're now covered in. Enjoy. <laughs>